Hello, this is Brad from Cybernim. I would like to show you how you can configure your iPhone or iPad with a free email that, you, that comes with your domain name. In order to access your email, please log in to store.cybername.com and enter your username and password. You sign up with Cybername, enter your domain name and find the part where it says email. You can manage your email here, add user, manage users and accounts. We have info at his domain name.ca and we can reset our password. For security reasons, we need to reset it ourselves and this is our new password. Let's take a note. H H J N O at four. So the reason why you cannot set it up yourself is for making sure your email is not hacked. Here we enter an alternative email address. That's the address the instructions are sent when you create the email address. So let's go to setup details. These are the information you use to create your free email. So basically, if you want to use IMAP, IMAP dot the domain name, and for outgoing server, it is SMTP dot domain name. Let's go back to our setup for emails. Go to settings and find the part where it says mail accounts and add account select other add mail account here enter the information his new domain corporation email was info at his new domain dot ca the password is the one that was given to me and entering it here j and must be o sometimes hard to read then you can reset one more time description his new domain email okay next On the next page, we enter the incoming server details. We prefer to use IMAP, so the copies of your emails can stay at server and you can use the same information through multiple devices such as iPhone, iPad, even your Mac or Outlook. They can access the email and get a copy downloaded, but the original email stays at the server. That's the good thing about IMAP. I mapped that his new domain dot ca and please remember your username is your full email address so let's copy that part copy and paste we already entered the password at the stage before an outgoing server was smtp dot his new domain dot ca we prefer to enter username and password one more time here j n o at four here it will do a test and it may fail the, the reason you are getting that error message is because of the fact that the DNS servers are, are not set yet for this domain name properly. So if you click on the warning message here where it was asking you to correct your name servers, configure now. That's the main reason here why your 
email program is given an error because your name servers are currently set to ns1.cybername.com and for that system to work they should be set to this name server list of four name servers and if you click on fix name servers automatically it's going to update your name servers there are a couple of things to talk about here first if you are using our free website builder you should not change it you should contact support and ask them to add required information for your mail service if you are not using our website builder or any other website services then you can fix name servers here for that reason if you are getting an error message please reach our support and email actually us at support at cybername.com and we'll make sure your setup is done properly for your specific case because we will check your website builder's status and website hosting status and decide which name servers to use for your own case and also please remember if you click on that fixed name servers automatically the update will take minimum six hours so in the next six hours you will still get that error message you have seen before let's say let's ignore that error message and continue save so we have created our email account for the new domain name we have registered when you need to edit some information such as SMTP port number you can go back to mail accounts again I'll show you how I did that again I went back to my settings found mail click on accounts this new email click on that email and click on SMTP click on SMTP again here make sure you are using the port 587 because in Canada Rogers for example blocks most of the ports and we have found out that port 587 is the one that works properly that's it and this is how you can configure your iPhone or IMAP by using your free email we offer when you register a domain name thank you very much for watching